You're with Mickey B right here on the Jukebox Review on Madhouse, realitytv.com. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock to 9, you'll catch the greatest in rock and roll music in the history of rock and roll. And today was absolutely a fabulous day in the New York area. We've got people looking at us all over the world. Temperatures today were probably up in the high 70s. Beautiful day. We expect that to happen all weekend long. And, of course, when you watch uh, Mickey B's Jukebox Review, you meet some of the best groups of rock and roll. Tonight, we're going to be featuring groups that have a number in their title, like this group called the Bob Knight Fort. Let's welcome, of course, our dear friends here today, Mr. John Rope. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you've been here only a couple of months back, and we yes, brought you sir. back again. Yeah, well, thank you. Because I mean, we, like we love you here. Thank you. We need you. We need group you. is absolutely fabulous. I mean, I hear these harmonies that you do, and, and uh, John, you, you write or arrange I mean, yes, most I of do. this music, that, right? Yes. Yes. Now, I know that you go back to the, the good old days of rock and roll, back to Brooklyn, New York, Brooklyn, right? Brooklyn, New York, so, 1957. Right. But at that time, were you doing the arranging of the songs? No, we were copying what everybody else did. I mean, uh -huh. you know, that's, that's how we started. You know, everybody else was doing it. We started singing, and we did what they did. And then, little by little, you start throwing a little bit of yourself into it. And that's how it started. Now, today's styling, I hear a difference. I hear a whole <laughs> difference of, I don't know if I'll be saying this right, maybe sevenths, ninths, or different kinds yeah, well, of chord changes in the yeah. structure. Yeah, I use different right? chords, yeah. Yeah. I, I grew, we grow, everybody grows, you know, with time, mm -hmm. so you grow into new styles, I guess, you know. The only guy who's not growing, I know, is Louis Rosetto. Yeah, he's a Gee, thank you. <laughs> short. I was waiting for that. He's still short. You know stand I mean? up, Louis. Oh, he, sorry. He <laughs> I am standing. <laughs> <He is> standing. <laughs> Let me introduce the rest of the guys. Dennis Gustafferi, who's been here many, many times, and Louis Rosetta, we said, Pete Scolari, and uh, Joe uh, Antaki. Uh, oh, I was going to mix up with Antaki. the last time. So what's been going on? I mean, we've got a great uh, show that's coming up on Saturday night. We're going to be there at the, uh, at the Elks Club in Massapequa. We'll talk about, a little bit about that later on. But when we talk about the Bob Knight Ford today, what kind of music do we hear in the, in the repertoire? Uh, well, we do some of the oldies, but I try... I guess I try to make them different a little bit. I try not to copy them exactly the way they were, which is sometimes good or sometimes bad. Some people don't like the fact that I'm changing them. Mm -hmm. Some people do. I like to put a little surprise in every song. We do songs from the 60s and 50s and 40s and everything, you know. Yeah, and I'll tell you, you're fabulous. I mean, I listen to these songs, I mean, not only here, but I see you many times during the course of the year, and the hobby's just exquisite. Oh, Pete Scalera, you're doing probably what, the tenor? Are you I doing do the tenor? Part, yeah. You're doing a high voice, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, when, when he gives you those parts to do, I mean, is it, is it hard to, I mean, it, to start to put this stuff together? I mean, I do you know the notes? Them. You've got to work at them, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of these yeah. songs are a little difficult sometimes when you do a little song, right? He, he, uh, he really makes the harmony uh, work. It yeah. works, and he uses the group fine. And uh, I have to work on my parts. It's, it, it's enjoyable. Every song is a new experience. Now, what high school did you go to? I went to Automotive High School in Brooklyn. All right. Were you part of the chorus? They have a chorus at that time? No, or? it was all boys school. All boys, no all chorus. Boys. All boys <laughs> school, no. Chorus. Oh, were guys singing some doo wop down the corridors? They all have to corners, be doing that. Yep. Yeah. That was it. In the gym. But you had a you had a great thing because you guys had cars over there, right? Oh, yeah, we work on cars, it. so you guys were sitting in cars and singing some doo wop in the cars, huh? Absolutely. Now, what did mm -hmm. you learn in automotive high school? I mean, what did you actually do after you graduated? I became a cop. <laughs> what, was that, what, was that high school? So what was that high school about? I mean, was that to learn about the fixing yeah, of cars, making a, cars, building cars? My older, no, repairing. My older mm -hmm. brother, he had gone mm -hmm. there first, and then uh, I had gone there, and then also my younger brother went there. We were going to open up a business, mm -hmm. but uh, it never panned out. Uh, we wound up going different directions, and I went to Vietnam. After I come back from Vietnam, I uh, became a police officer. God bless you. Thanks I for serving. For 21 Thank you. 
And, you know, uh, I mean, going from repairing cars to, to preventing guys from stealing cars, <laughs> I mean, that was a big difference, right? Yes, yes, it was. And then you found out that the cars that they stole were the stuff he was repairing in the shop. <laughs> and they didn't go too far. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. He always caught them. He always caught them. <laughs> Louis Rosetta, you do what? You do second tenor in the group? I do baritone. Baritone? Because that's the low part. Okay. You say I'm low, so, you know, uh, forget it. Right. That was a bad joke. <laughs> and uh, a couple of leads here and there. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are the songs that you uh, do leads on? Uh, Little Girl of Mine. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that Dom Dom song? Dom. Come Go With Come Me. Go with me. Come, Come Go With Me. Come Go With Me. And uh, that Halloween song I do. Yeah, Monster you Mash. You do that tonight. Yeah. Joey, so that means if he's doing baritone, you're doing second tenor. Second tenor, that's right. Yeah, and you've been doing that. Now, I always met you, you were always at a band playing a, uh, uh, I guess it was, was a trumpet? Yeah, that's right. It was playing trumpet. You're still playing trumpet? Yeah. But Much now you're doing. The chagrin you're, of my neighbors, yes. Yeah, but you're doing more singing now than you're playing trumpet. Right, I do more but singing. Because you went now. from a different band. You went from the band that you had called right, something Sweet. Right, went from Sweet Sound time, Band. Sweet Sound Band. To, to John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. Yeah. And now the only instrument I have to carry around is right in here. And it's I a never lot knew, easier. Yeah, and I never knew that you could sing. I mean, I was listening to you play that trumpet and the trumpet. Everybody else was singing. Did you we miss didn't it? either. <laughs> did you miss that singing? Uh, that. What, what would you rather do, play trumpet or sing? Uh, you know, if it's musical, it really doesn't matter. Uh -huh. you know, that, that's where the joy comes from, whether it's coming you know, through my right. voice or coming out the end of my horn. What's harder to do? Uh, it depends. Uh, so, you know, when you're blowing a horn, whether it's a trumpet or trombone or uh, right. a flugelhorn, you can memorize the parts, and that's easy enough. You may take some liberties and improvise a little bit, but that comes from within. So yeah. it's almost like it happens automatically or without even thought. <clears throat> the arrangements that John writes require a lot of thought and a lot of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Enthusiasm mostly on John's part and yeah, thought on enthusiastic. our part. So People don't realize how hard it is. As you, as you put well, yeah, when I write, and John doesn't write arrangements using a, the typical you know, major chords and, and, and minor chords that you hear in a lot of what we call doo-wop yeah. harmony, okay? You know, and he's, he's writing things with chords that are major sevenths, which are nice, major ninths, which are beautiful, thirteenths, which mm -hmm. are outstanding. Pulls it off with five voices, and just the way he, he, he blends the chords, they're magnificent, you know. We're sit, singing something where someone expects to hear a change to another major chord, and all of a sudden you hear a diminished chord in there. Like John said, he likes to throw a curve right, in there right. once in a while. And it's, to me, it's fabulous. This is why this is the group I would rather sing with than any other group. All the other groups are great. And we all enjoyed their music mm -hmm. over the years, but at the same time, You're doing something this is what different. I enjoy singing, is the way Dennis, John writes it. Besides singing lead, when you're not singing lead, what part are you doing in the group? I usually do second, or most of the time second. I do some third. Mm -hmm. I stay away from the bass. <laughs> I can't do bass. Yeah. I can't breathe. Um, but uh, mostly, you know, I do a lot of the leads in the group, which is which is fine, and I enjoy it. I enjoy the heck out of it. John Roper, why did the? Uh, I like group to. I like to. Yeah. Before you ask the question, I like to interject something about Joe, because Joe not only does his second tenor, but he sings leads, and he does baritone, and he does great basses. Yeah. I have him doing bass. When I'm singing a lead, I have Joe doing the bass. Great. And he does great, Talented great guys. work at the bass. Anybody else play an instrument besides Joe? Just, in the group, just, the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> just Joe. I play the, the bass group. kazoo. <laughs> Let me ask you, how did the uh, Bob Knight Four get their name? I mean, you could have been called the Eagles, you could have been called, why the Bob Knight Four? I know there's four guys, but somebody well, just we, not anymore. We, back in the day, we were, we were known as the Bobby <coughs> Dells. There were five of us. And uh, it was the name of a racehorse at the time. We played the horse, the horse won. We figured we'd call ourselves the Bobby Dells. So, <coughs> and then one of the guys went off to the Army, to the four of us, and we were... It was our first record deal we had, as, as four of us. And the record company wanted a new name, and it couldn't be the Bob. They didn't like the Bobby Dells. It could have still been the Bobby Dells with four guys. But Ralph, my baritone, he liked Gladys Knight and the Pips. And he just, but when the lead singer's name was Bob, so it was Bob Knight. And that was the day of the numbers coming into the groups, the day of Clark yeah. Five. All right. The Bob Knight Four. There we go. We have well, it. today we're going to feature some of those groups that have numbers in really? the title. Really? Yep. Okay. Like this first group, and of course they came from Connecticut. They're called the Five Satins. Let's watch them right here on this famous song. And this is something I'm really, really thankful for. Because we've been quite fortunate to have one of the biggest oldies of all time. 
And I thank the people. God bless the people for doing it to us. And we'd like to do it for you right now. And I'd like to dedicate it to everyone out there. In the still. You know, I don't know if you believe this, but you make me feel just like 1956. Hey, hey, hey. Nah. The greatest songs of rock and roll history, and it's still in the night. And of course, Fred Paris, the Five Satins, and I just love those guys, especially those yellow suits. I wish I could wear a yellow suit like that, you know. <laughs> but I go walking down the street wearing that, they'll think I'm a flower and water me, you know. <laughs> We're here with uh, John Roper's Bob Knight for you with Mickey B, live on Mickey B's Jukebox Review, right here on, uh, of course, on the Madhouse, <laughs> realitytv.com. When we come back, we got more from the Bob Knight Four and more groups with numbers in their title. We'll be right back, and don't go away. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, Fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell Gardol. We sell Amsac. 
the new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best, Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. We're back right here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review on MadhouseRealityTV.com. Got a great group here tonight. John Rope is Bob Knight 4. And, of course, we'll be uh, sharing uh, the stage come uh, this Saturday night, May the 25th, as we present a memorial <coughs> oldies dance party, as you can see right here, with a cascade salute. We have uh, John Rope is Bob Knight 4. Let me see if I can take it over here maybe a little bit better. And also the Tercells are going to be there. DJ Valentine will be there. And guys, they have some fabulous food that night as well from a great buffet, you know, that's going to happen. So if you want to get some tickets, make sure you give us a call at 516-822-9612. It's 516-822-9612, and you'll be dancing to their fabulous music that night. Some slow dances, some fast dances. You never know what you're going to do, right? And hey, let me ask you a little question. We talked about fast and slow dances. Okay. Most of your music, is it slow? Is it fast? 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Well, nothing is really fast-fast. I mean, uh -huh. but, you know, up-tempo and, and slow ballads. Yeah. Right. 50-50, I guess. Yeah. What do you, you like, what'd you like us to do more? I like, yeah? uh, well, I like them both. I like the, you know, people love to dance slow because they want yeah. to get up and dance, and they also want to do some Lindy's, yeah, you know? Yeah, I do that. When I, I put a show together, I try to break it up, you know? Yeah. If I see people on the dance floor having a good time, I try to, you know, keep them there. Pete Scalera, I mean, uh, you do a lot of singing with this group. What's your favorite song that you do in the repertoire? That's an interesting oh, question. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> uh, actually, there, there's, there's so many of the standards that John rearranged, and mm -hmm. they're, they're all great. This new song that we do now, we just uh, learned a few, uh, I guess, last month or so, uh, a tempo, More Than Yesterday by... More Than Yesterday? More Than Yesterday. Another oh, that's song. the Spiral Span right, Spiral Staircase song. Spiral yeah. Staircase. And I guess one of my favorites <laughs> is That's the Way It Goes. That's a, that's a great song. Wait a second. That's, I love that song. Now, you did that song for me, I think, when you were here about, I don't know, seven months ago, eight months ago, right. you did that. Mm -hmm. That was the harp tone song. These guys are just outraged. I mean, here's a guy that's, uh, Willie Winfield must be now about, I think, about 84 years old, and Raul Cedar today is about 86 <laughs> years old. If he was on and, the show that night. Yeah, and he right. In. He had called in, and they were absolutely marvelous. These guys are tremendous entertainers. Now, when you talk about that's the way it goes, I enjoy the song. Could you do it again? Maybe we'll do it again. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do it. The La Capelli, we can do it from the do, couch. Want to do it right now? Let's do it right now. All right, let's do it. We'll oh, we all right sit for a little live acapella right here with Mickey B. <laughs> I have to stand up, though, Mickey. Oh, you want to stand up? Okay. Yeah, because we have to breathe. Let's stand up and breathe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know it gets a little rough, you know, sitting down. <laughs> People don't understand about yeah, sitting yeah. down on a couch and oh, yeah, singing is a little tougher than singing live, you know? Mm, okay. Tempo, tempo. We're all set, guys? Yeah. Here we go. Two, three, <laughs> four. Do, 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 do. Your smile is something I'll never forget And since that day my love grows and grows Ooh. And that's the way it goes The way it goes I spent a lifetime just waiting for you but from now on, dear, my searching is through. For you have made all my dreams come true. Ooh. And that's the way it goes. 
from out of nowhere you came into view. Now I'm completely in love with you. You walked right in, my heart walked out. You took its place without doubt. So, so won't you please open your heart to me? For since I've known you, you're all that I see. You are the one love that my heart has chosen. That's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. right here with Mickey B. Of course, John Rope is Bob Knight for <coughs> singing a song by the Harp Tones. That's mm. the way it goes. What a great job. Thank you. Love Thank that you. harmony. I mean, that's, a, that's a hard song to do because you've got that nice light harmony, you know. And sometimes as we get a little old, you've got to really push that air out to get those <laughs> notes. And, and if you don't get that out, the note cracks, you know. So it's a little tough thing to sing that kind of song. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, Louie, about some of the up-tempo songs that you guys are doing today. Up-tempo, I guess... Uh Little Girl of Mine was probably one. Mm -hmm. uh, Come Go With Me. Great song. And we do a few uh, from the 60s, like Mustang Sally. Yep. Uh, That's else? a little bit different, right, for a guy like the John Roper's Bob Knight. Yeah, we do go on a take tangent a little, over little there little with Mustang there. Sally and uh, yeah. some of the other Blue Motown Moon. sound. Blue a Blue Moon, Moon definitely, yeah. yeah. I forgot yeah. about yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah I like that. Very unique yeah. arrangement, the Blue Moon. Yeah. 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 Now oh, tell me a little out. bit, Joey, what's your favorite song? I asked them before. What is yours oh, that the group uh, is doing today? You know, it's tough to say because I have a, a bunch of them. It, there aren't any of them that I can't say that I don't enjoy singing. I enjoy doing all of them. Uh, I guess a favorite is probably one of the first ones uh, that we collectively, as this, this version of the Bob Knight 4 did, and that was the Stormy Weather. John wrote a terrific arrangement for that. Yeah, that's a great, song, great too. tempo. It's an up tempo number. Uh -huh. uh, turn some heads. You know, when people hear it, they say, "Wow, listen to that. It's pretty cool." Uh, so so I, I enjoy that. But all of all the ones that we do, whether the harmony is a little more simple, something that we can learn, you know, fairly quickly, uh, or something that people request that we do, and John puts together a beautiful arrangement of that, like he did for My Way, mm -hmm. uh, where we were requested to learn that song for an upcoming show by a group that were coming to see us, and we did it. Now, Dennis, let me ask you this. I mean, most of your songs, I know you do a track act today, right? And you probably could sing along, of course, with the band as well. But mm -hmm. oh, sure. can you do most of those songs a cappella if you had to do them? I mean, is there a problem doing songs a cappella? I mean, and using the track or most of your songs, can you get up there and just hit them on a street corner? I mean, if you're standing around? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not, I don't mm -hmm. think so, really. I mean, we could do it if we, we had to modify them. We could adapt them. them. Is that because there's too much space in between? Well, there's, or something yeah, like there's, that? There's, there's space. Like, uh, don't, don't forget when I arranged the... the the vocal, I arrange the music behind that vocal to complement each I other. See. So sometimes yeah. the vocal takes a little there's no break in breakdown, you know. Yeah. So a lot of times it could be adapted. <coughs> I mean, I could adapt the vocal <coughs> arrangements to do the a cappella. Right. Makes you like you usually double a bridge stuff like that. When we talk about groups that have a, a name with a number in the title, one of the most famous uh, groups you could possibly think of uh, were named after a bowling alley at one time, and they were called the you know the Seasons. They had four guys in there, so it became the Four Seasons. They were absolutely marvelous, hit after hit after hit after hit, produced by a guy by the name of Bob Crew, and of course uh, Bob Gordia, who came out of that, came out of a group called the Royal Teens, and it's just tremendous. So you see a lot of their great songs today on Broadway in the show. That's one of the most successful Broadway shows of all time. Mm. Let's watch them on stage. A little bit of a medley by, of course, Frankie Valli on lead and the Four mm. Seasons. And now, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons to cook with some of their greatest hits. Sherry, Sherry, baby.
What a great sound over there, different kind of sound than we were used to in the uh, doo-wop era of the, uh, of course, the end of the 50s. And once we approached into the early 60s, and they came out in about 1962 with Sherry and all those great sounds. When I first heard uh, Frankie Valley hitting those notes, I never heard a falsetto voice like that. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of great falsetto voices, but this mm -hmm. was something different, a little bit more commercialized, different kind of sound, well produced, and every one of their songs came out was a hit record. When we come back, we got more live on the stage. We're going to catch the uh, John Roper's Bob Knight uh, for singing right behind us. Right after this, on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Most Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh, no! Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. B -b 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me! This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Jesus is a fire. I said, Oh Lord, 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 Jesus is
back here live on Mickey B's Jukebox Review, right here on MadhouseRealityTV.com. You catch us every week, Tuesday night from 8 o'clock to 9 p.m. with some fabulous groups of rock and roll. Next week coming by, you're going to check them out right here, the Duprees. You'll hear some great songs like Have You Heard My True Story? Well, actually, My True Story is the Chai Five, My True Love, and all those great songs. But tonight, we're here with John Roper's Bob Knight Four. Hey, guys, you all set to sing? Sure. Are you ready to do it? Oh, yeah. What are we going to hear? Just a gigolo. Okay. Story of my life. <laughs> you got it, guys. Take it away. Just a gigolo. Whenever I go, people know the part I'm playing. Pay for every dance, sell an each romance. Mm -hmm. What are they saying? There'll come a day when you will pass away. What do they say about me? When the end comes, I know I was just a gigolo. Life goes on without me. I'm just a gigolo. And everywhere I go, people know the point dance player. Pay for every dance. So I need romance. What are they saying? Jiggle on, jiggle on, jiggle on. There'll come a day when you will pass away. What do they say about me? When the end that comes, I know there was just a gigolo. Life goes on without me. Cause I ain't got nobody. No, no, nobody cares for me. Nobody cares for me. Want some sweet mama? Come take a chance with me, cause I ain't so bad. Take a look at me now. Said Lord, some other time. On the beat, Johnny, on the beat. Bozy, bozy, bop, diddy, bop. I ain't got nobody. No, no, nobody. Cares for me, nobody cares for me. Wow! Oh, look at it. here he goes. Ain't got Ain't nobody. Who you, got? Who you got? Nobody. 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 Come to the people that see the boop and the humble people that see the bop. I'm so sad and lonely. Sad and lonely. Nobody cares for me. Nobody cares for me. Wow! Oh, look at that. Here he goes. I'm again. not not even on match.com, man. man. Who do you got? No one! Nobody! No one! No one! Come in the people is evil the boo boo the humble the people is evil the bop. I ain't got nobody. No, no, no. Nobody cares for me. Nobody. Nobody, nobody cares for me. Humble the people is evil, the people are humble, the people are bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a funny what guy. a great sound. I love that sound. And uh, that's something a little bit different, right? You're going back to a little gigolo, the sound of the 40s right here, where John Roper's Bob Knight for. Hey, John, tell me a little bit about this next song we're going to hear. It's something that I happen to enjoy. This next song is a little bit of a novelty, and uh, let's surprise them and just do it. See if anybody remembers it. Well, now I think we can fool around with the lights a little bit. We could get those lights that Tommy likes to play around with, those white lights, because when you hear something like this one, I don't know what's coming up, a song that originally backed up Boris Pickett on this by a girl group named The Blossoms. This one you can listen to by John Roper's Bob My Four. It's a monster mash. I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from his slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise 
He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east. The master bedroom was a vampire's feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electro. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included a wolf man, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking over digging the sounds. He got one chains back by his baying hounds. The coffin kicked his mock music and more. So they called John Ropo and the Bob Knight Four. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. It caught on in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. Wow. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Wow. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Wow. He opened the lid, shook his fist, and said, wow. What the fuck happened to my friends and making a twist? It's, it's now, now the mash. mash. It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It caught on in a flash. It's now the mash. Call the monster mash. Now everything's cool. Jack's a part of the band, and my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this smash was meant to. When you open my door, tell them Barty sent you. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And you, my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Mash cool. Mash cool. And of course, it sounds so close to Boris Pickett. I mean, the background was just great, John, and the voice, everybody taking part in that. And of course, I want to send that song down to Frankie D, my co host, a little bit under the weather tonight, who usually does that part as Igor. Yes, Master. But right now, we've got Mickey B here at Prince of Rock and Roll. Tonight, we're also featuring some of the great songs with group titles that have a number in one. Just like this group, they're great. They came from Brooklyn, New York. They're called the Jive Five. Here, I would like to tell you a true story. It happened to me back in like 1960 when I fell in love. You know, my best friend married my girlfriend. I guess you would say those are the breaks, huh? Well, you know, it hurt me so bad that I went home and sat all alone in a lonely room. And upon paper, I began to write these few words. And it was I, it was I who entitled it. My true story. Cry, 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 
Right here with Mickey B, the prince of rock and roll. Of course, the giant five right there. You better give me some Kleenex tissues as we cry, cry, cry all the way to the next commercial break. Don't go away. We've got more coming up from John Roper's Bob Knight 4 right here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review on MadhouseRealityTV.com. We'll be right back. This is Beth. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. 
When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. You're back on Mickey B's Jukebox Review every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, right here at MadhouseRealityTV.com. We go back over the history of rock and roll, bring on some of the great groups of rock and roll. Coming up in the next couple of weeks will be the Duprees and Kenny Vance and the Planetones and the Cookies will be here, the Fireflies, and the list goes on and on. So if you enjoy our show, make sure you tell everybody to go to MadhouseRealityTV.com and click it on to Mickey B's Jukebox Review. You got us live right here. All right? We got John Roper's Bob Knight for you. Hey, John, what are we going to do this time? What song? We're going to do an old favorite, Little Girl of Mine by the Cliftones. Okay, let's hear it. Little, 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 little. Oh, little girl of mine, gee, you sure look fine. How you appeal to me, I'll never set you free. Be my loving baby to the end of time. I can't seem to get you off my mind, oh, oh. The boys will roll their eyes As we go strolling by It's not so hard to see Why they all envy me Yes, I love you, baby, and I always will You're my one and my only thrill So I'm never gonna let you go. I need your love oh so much. I feel to your touch. So little girl, be true. That's what I ask of you. Be mine and mine alone. Don't leave this happy home. Yes, I love you, baby, you belong to me That's the way it was meant to be oh, oh. Well, now I know I love you so I'm never gonna let you go I need your love Oh, so much I feel to your touch so little girl, be true. That's what I ask of you. Be mine and mine alone. Don't be this happy home. Yes, I love you, baby, and I always will. You're my one and my only thrill. My sugar, be my baby. <laughs> You're mine tonight. Little girl of mine. Ah, what a great sound right there, little girl of mine. Originally recorded by, of course, the Cleftones.
back in uh, about 1956. Don't forget the guys are going to be with us this coming Saturday night, not the Clifftones, but of course uh, John Roper's Bob Knight 4. You have also uh, the Tercells will be there, the Salute to the Cascades, DJ Valentine for tickets and information. It's 516-822-9612. And then you can head down to the Massapequa Elks Club this coming Saturday night and check us all out. Have a great time as we support the Wounded Warriors Fund, okay? So make sure you check us out. We've got another great song coming up, John. I think it's something about a spiral staircase. Am I right? Staircase. Let's hear it. Take it away. Take it away, Dennis. <clears throat> I'm taking it. I gotta tell you something about that. What? I don't remember what day it was. I remember what time it was. You know? I didn't notice what time it was. All I know is that I fell in love with you. And if all my dreams come true, I'll be spending time with you. Every day is a new day Yes, I'm in love do. with you I do, I do With each day comes a I new way Of loving you do, 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 do. Every time I, I kiss your lips do, do, My mind starts to wander And it can my dreams come true I'll be spending time with you Tomorrow's date means springtime's just the day away. Cupid, we don't need you now. Be on your way. Thank the love for love like ours that grows ever stronger. And I always will be true. I know you feel the way I do. Oh, yes, as the music fades out, and we're back here, of course, with John Roper's Bob Knight 4. Time goes by when you're having fun. Of course, I want to thank all the guys, John Roper and uh, Dennis Gustafieri, Lou Rossetti, uh, Pete Scalini, and uh, Joe Intaki. Very good. That time I got it, right? You got it right, though. Was Let's do it. Let's After all do it. these shows you got. <laughs> Let's do the famous song that got you all the way to the top of the charts. You there guys all set? Ready, Until the next time, from Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll, of course, John Roper's Bob Knight 4. We'll see you Saturday night at the Elks Club in Massapequa. God bless all of you. So long, everybody. Back in 1961, this was our first hit. A song about a soldier going off to fight in Vietnam. Saying goodbye to his loved one. Now it's 60 years later. We're still sending those boys off to fight.
so long. So, so long. Do, 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 do. I must go now. So good, good, bye. Do, do, do. It's time do, to leave now. So With all my heart, so when I return, we will never part. So Try your eyes and pray for my return. Uncle Sam is calling me from way, way. Say goodbye to those who care when you return, they'll still be there. So, so long. I must go now. Good, goodbye. It's time to leave you now. No, don't you cry. I will come again. Wow. So long, my darling. <laughs>